What is up, New York Yankees fans? Yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? Good morning. It's going to be a hot day over here in New York City. I know the Yankees are international, national, worldwide. Wherever you are, have a great day. Let's talk about the Yankees deadline. Somebody argue that the Yankees had a great one. But it appears that way. The Yankees, in my opinion, this is, remember, this is the opinion of me and why we'll News Felix. The Yankees barely upgraded. In my last video I uploaded, the title was something like, It Happened Again. The Yankees Miss Out on the Best Arm Available. I had a few crybabies leave me a comment saying that I was overreacting. Here, let me put it like this. If you think that Yankees rotation could even pass, let's say make it past the first round of the playoffs versus a wild card team, and that wild card team might be the Mariners who just took three, uh, two out of three games in New York, might I add. If you think the Yankees have a chance, maybe, maybe they could win one of those series, right? But if you think they have a chance with that rotation, you're out of your mind. And you could cry all you want, leave all those comments, cry and say, Felix, you're overreacting, stop whining. I mean, it's common sense. Do you people pay attention? I'm not bashing the Yankees' moves at the deadline, but I believe they had to do more. They had to add another arm and maneuver here and there for some offensive pieces. Rumors have come out that, I don't know if it's true or not, that the Yankees decided to trade Montgomery because they had other trades in place for Marlins Lopez or the Giants Rodon. I don't know if it's true or not. It obviously didn't happen. For what reason? I don't know. Negligence by Cashman. Who knows? Look, I called this a long time ago. And the same kind of people that whined and complained on that video I made about Luis Castillo are the same kind of people that cried to me when I said Garrett Cole. Sure, he was a pitcher to Ghent, but Garrett Cole is going to have trouble pitching without spider tack. And that Garrett Cole... Is a head case. You know, damn, I hate doing this because it's a broken record. You know who would have hated Garrett Cole by now? George Steinbrenner. He would have absolutely hated the man. This guy can't pitch versus great teams. Or, let's put it like this. He cannot pitch when pressure is put on him. It's like, he's a great pitcher, but mentally, he's a small market kind of guy. Sort of like Joy Gallo, how he was a head case playing with the New York Yankees. What is Garrett Cole making? $35 million per season. And he's given up six runs, seven runs or whatever it was in the first inning. Versus a team that you might see come playoff time. And people are cheering, oh, the Yankees had a great deadline. No, did they not? They barely upgraded. They needed one more arm. You think Tyon is going to show up? <laughs> He's not showing up currently either. Come playoff time. I love Nestor Cortez, but is he proven in October? I don't know. He's a big question mark. And he might run out of gas. Once that, uh, once the uh, postseason comes along, who else we got? Sarah Reno, who's a question mark as well. In my opinion, he should have been plugged in the bullpen, but that trade that made absolutely no sense because the Yankees missed their target at the deadline. Like I said, rumors have come out the Yankees were going to do more. That move trading Montgomery makes absolutely no sense, even though. Montgomery 
bored the hell out of me every time he pitched. So what the hell did the Yankees really do? And then you got a guy in Montas who, don't get me wrong, is a great pitcher, but he's coming, he's coming from Oakland, guys. Where his numbers on the road are not the same as the numbers he had in the Coliseum, which is a pitcher-friendly ballpark. So I don't want to, you know, say if that was the right move or not because it absolutely was. But I keep saying this, the Yankees needed one more arm. And this rotation, any team over 500, they're going to have a good chance versus the Yankees. I can't give my opinions on Frankie Montas. He hasn't pitched for the Yankees yet. Who knows? I think he'll do good. But let's say the Yankees' intentions were to get one starting uh, pitcher. Montas would have been great with another arm. But let's say if their intentions were to just get one. Luis Castillo had to be that guy. I know we can't change the past. The deadline's over. Yankees got uh, two more arms for the bullpen. Traded with the Cubs. Traded again uh, in that package with Montas and Trevino. I don't know how you pronounce his name. Is it Trevino? Trevino? Don't, uh, I know I'm probably butchering his name. But did they really improve this ball club? Michael King out. Question marks all over the bullpen. Are these guys going to make a difference? Did the Yankees go out there and get the equivalent of a Michael King? Who knows? We just have to wait and see. I'll come back and evaluate this more better in about a week or two weeks. But like I said, Yankees barely upgraded or even upgraded at all. And that's just uh, everyone use Felix, my opinion. You could uh, disagree with me or not. But if you have followed me for a long time, you know that I know what I'm talking about when it comes to starting pitching and overall evaluating the New York Yankees. But I will give Brian Cashman his prompts for at least trying. He finally pulled the trigger and acquired a well sought after picture, starting a picture on the market. So I'll give him props for that. But it's 50 50. He should have done more. Long story put short the 2022 Yankees are still the 2022 Yankees. You can interpret that any way you want. So, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Did the Yankees improve? What? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. This has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the front page.